again on bass rocks. I'm going to do another one of these beautiful surf paintings. All right, uh, so I'm starting out with some bluish green here. Uh, it's ultramarine blue with a touch of phthalo green in there and a little bit of red, cadmium red mixed in. All right, so I'm painting around the, I put, I painted the surf with water first and now I'm painting around that surf and I'm going back in with a wet brush and basically just loosening up the edges there. So you can see I painted around the shape of what I wanted to be the splash, you know, the shape of that splash. And now I'm loosening up just water in my brush and just loosening up. So now I'm picking up the edges with some paper towel. All right, now I'm going in to paint the rocks themselves. And what I'm going to do here is just paint the shapes of the rocks. You can see I added some cad red. I have uh, quinacridone sienna, ultramarine blue. I just charged it with cad red because I want these rocks to be very warm. And this is the underpainting of the rocks. Okay, you'll see as we go along, we have a darker rock out there and that's in the splash. So I'm using the heel of my brush and I'm painting down into the water so that I end up with a nice loose edge there. All right, so I'm just mixing up some darks into the red I had and covering that. So there's the shape of my rocks, as you can see in the photo. Okay, just mixing that up, cleaning up that edge. Rocks don't usually have fuzzy edges. So now I'm taking a credit card and I'm squeegeeing the paint off the paper, leaving the texture of the paper. Don't press too hard here. This is just a squeegee. Think of it, you know, as pushing the paint off. Don't dig in because you'll, you'll cut into your paper and leave marks that you can't get rid of. So as you can see, it leaves a beautiful uh, rock texture to it. Okay, so that's what we, we have that. Now we're gonna go in and go back in and paint the dark crevices and the, the dark tracks of the rocks and the shadows and so forth. So what I'm doing here first is I'm going to place the darks And then I'll go in and soften some of the edges, enhance the creases of the rocks. Nice turn of the rock there. Right on the edge. You want to get a little bit around that edge so it shows the depth of the rock. Okay. I'm doing some scumbling here on top of the rock, you know where water settles in and so forth. And, you know, over here, I'll gradually get rid of this hard edge that I put in with that dark stroke. So I want to get rid of most of that edge. Rocks do have sharp edges, but generally they're round from the, from the wear of the water over the years, you know. All right, so you can see I'm just scumbling the top of the rock where the water settles and creates these crevices and creases. And, Got a piece of a rock down in there that I'm going to go back to and, and fix. So, so now I'm just going to go around all the rocks and try to soften those edges that I made with those hard dark strokes. Not all of them, but some of them, and add some crevices and creases. This is so much fun to do. You know, it's all smoke and mirrors. You don't have to follow any particular, you know, it's not a portrait of the rocks really. This is just to have fun and you don't need to follow a photo to every single crevice and every single crack and so forth. So you're just, just going to have fun with this. This is really fun. You can see the, you know, what you're looking for is beautiful contrast between the rocks and the, and the water. The solidness of the rock against the transparency and splash of the water. You can see the paintings already forming. You know. Okay.
Yeah, so we're almost done. Like five minutes into the painting. Beautiful stuff. All right, I'm just throwing some uh, water into that. Now I'm going to drop in some of the green uh, of the splash. You know, when the water comes up, it has a nice green tint to it. But we don't want it that dark, so I think what I'll do is go in with a towel here and just tap it, tap up some of it. You know, you're leaving some there, and that's, it's just the mist, you know, just part of the splash. The, there's a wave inside the wave that's creating that splash. Beautiful stuff. Really nice. So much fun to do. Just spatter it. Have fun with it. You know. right, as the wave breaks, it gets there's a dark. I think there's a darker green down inside there. All right, there's a there's a flat rock at the base there that uh, you can just barely see through the water that's hitting the rock and climbing up on it and so forth. Just gives the painting a little more depth. Alright, just little nitpicky things we're going to do here. A little more green in that water be nice you know like I say there's a there's a splash inside the splash and you want to get some of that color going you know if that helps a lot of soft edges though don't don't leave too many you know don't try, try not to leave too many hard edges water is very soft and moving do so much with that splatter. You can see how that green really helps. And it vibrates off the red of the rocks as well. So. Alright, I'm going to take a tiny bit of gouache here and I tinted it a little bit towards the green. And what I'm doing is I'm going to the hard edges that that I that formed when I was making my splash, and I'm extending them into a you know into a sort of splash where it has little little touches of white going here and there. Okay, all right. So you can do as much of that as you want, but basically the painting is finished. All right. Well, thank you so much. For joining me again on these fun surf paintings they're really a lot of fun to do you can do so many in a short time so thank you so much stay safe and i hope to see you very soon take care